What's up, YouTube family? We are going to do another budget airline. We are getting ready to get on the shuttle. So this will be our review of Breeze Airways. Let's go. Hopefully, we have some positive things to say. Hey guys, we're gonna do it for you so you don't have to ever ride and find out. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> Thank you. The airport shuttle bus dropped us off where Breeze Airways was supposed to be and we ran into some problems. All right, so we've already run into some problems. Breeze Airways is supposed to be like a sister uh, company of JetBlue. We went to JetBlue and we're like, hey, where's the gate for Breeze Airways? And they're like, uh, we don't know. I was like, well, aren't they a sister company of you? And they're like, no. And correction, uh, Breeze Airways is not a sister company of JetBlue. Just the founder of JetBlue uh, also started at the company and they took their first flight back in the year of 2021. So we have to go to the information desk. Uh, our boarding pass still says gate to be determined. Uh, so the information desk told us what gate to actually go to. So we're trying to get to the gate now. Luckily, we do have TSA pre-check. So if you guys have not seen our TSA pre-check video, please check it out because it will be very helpful. Thanks to TSA pre-check, we were able to get in and out of the line very, very quickly and get to the gate. And our plane was showing that it was on time, no issues there, so that was good. We just got through making it through TSA. Yep. So what we've noticed is few moments later what we noticed is um when i was checking us in for the boarding passes my tsa pre-check was not on my boarding pass so i tried to call there is not a phone number to contact breeze airway yeah and see that's what the problem was so what you have to do is either email them send them a text or go ahead and shoot them a message on facebook messenger uh we were able to get someone to respond via facebook messenger so that's how i got my tsa pre-check added to my boarding pass and with that being said our flight did start boarding on all right time. we all here we all here so not that much of a hassle keep walking baby behind you. not that much of a hassle so we're gonna see how the scene is pretty sure it's gonna be similar to jet blue um, so check it out see Once we got on the plane, as you can see, it was pretty empty. Um, the staff were all very friendly. It seemed like it was a fairly clean plane, to be honest with you. All right, guys, so this is not bad. Um, not that many people on this flight, just because probably where we're going, but um, nice, nice plane. You can tell it's probably one of the older uh, planes in the fleet, but it's still very nice, very clean. Um, decent leg room. We'll show you guys that as well. So I really don't have any complaints besides, you know, well, no complaints at all. I just highly recommend you get here a little bit early just to make sure you know where your gate is since um, they haven't really expanded to, you know, have three or four, you know, different, I guess, gates in, you know, each terminal. But it's nice. Yeah. Yeah. So I did bring my personal item myself as well as Ronya. We did do that. It's included in the nice um, ticket price. If you've been watching our videos for a while, you know that we like to go the free route. So we are carrying our personal items, which are these bags right here that fit underneath the seats. Um, and those fly for free. If you do a carry on, of course, they will charge you for that. Uh, but as you can see, plenty of leg room. Um, you know, honestly, you can't really beat the price uh, for these tickets. We paid less than $200 for both of us round trip. Overhead bin was like average size. So if you had a carry on, it would definitely fit with no issues. Uh, but again, that will be a fee. So make sure if you like to go the frugal route, just do a personal item. Breeze also has this thing where they say like nice, nicer, and nicest as far as like the seating goes. So obviously nicest is gonna be the most expensive one, uh, but you get like extra perks with it. Um, one of the seats, they even give you like a free bottle of water and a free snack. But for the people that are like us that wanna be frugal, um, snacks are not free. You will not get any complimentary anything uh, similar to, you know, spirit and 
frontier airlines as well like you are just paying for your seat to get from point a to point b that's it so bring your own snacks bring your own blanket whatever you need okay so we are still sitting on the plane uh, we are not supposed to depart for like another 20 minutes but yeah. they actually let us board the plane 10 minutes early yeah. uh, the plane is not full at all again we think it's just because of the destination that we're going to but the staff has been really friendly and the seats are pretty comfortable no complaints this way like it's, it's been a great experience so far so hopefully it remains the same yeah. Trying to get you guys there. Uh, nice early. Welcome, Thank you. As you can see from that clip, the pilot came out, let us know, hey, I'm expecting to get you guys there early as well. So that's always great. The flight attendants did their normal safety precautions and, you know, did the normal spiel that you see on all the other planes. Uh, the manual, the safety manual was a little flimsy, so I will dock some points for that. It wasn't the best manual that I've seen before, but it still had the information that we need to, you know, keep our, ourselves safe. Now, this was the pleasant surprise that we experienced with Breeze. They have a Breeze onboard uh, Wi-Fi thing that kind of works. Um, I'm not sure if you can like actually go on the internet with the Wi-Fi, but they have an entertainment um, thing that you connect to and you can watch movies and play video games. And at first we're like, okay, this can't be real. They're gonna try to charge us, right? No. It's absolutely free no matter what seat you get, whether it's the most expensive, which would be the nicest, or the very frugal, inexpensive one, which would be the nice seats that we got. They also have games. As you can see, Richard is playing the games right here. It was so much fun and it really, really helps just make the flight even more pleasant. We did notice that one of our seat back tray tables was a little uh, on the raggedy side, but we didn't mind because we weren't eating. Again, you do have to pay for the snacks, but if you get the nicest seat, you get a kind bar and a free water. So that's, you know, pretty much it. Our landing was smooth as butter, no complaints. So that is going to be all of the pluses that we can say about Breeze for our first trip. Now stay tuned because you want to see what happened on our returning flight back. Three days later. Okay, we have some uh, troubling news. Our flight is delayed. Okay, as you can see, I just showed you on the screen our flight, our return home flight has been delayed. Uh, some other customers were asking the attendants there at the gate if they knew what the delay was and they said no they have no idea what the delay is but it looks like our delay is about two hours now we may, but we will see how this uh, delay affects us in our flight going back home looks like there is another delay so now it is 11:45. So we just got an update from the lady here at the gate. She said that there were some technical issues with our plane in Hartford, Connecticut. So as you can see, there is a long line of people trying to inquire like how much longer the flight delay is going to be. She doesn't know, but I mean, we do appreciate their transparency. We appreciate their transparency, letting us know, hey, there is a delay. There's technical issues somewhere in Hartford, Connecticut. Um, honestly, it's not a bad like airport to be stuck in. Uh, delay, delays do happen. Um, we just appreciate them communicating and letting us know. And we've got like multiple like text messages alerts and multiple app alerts. So good job Breeze on that. At least we're, we are informed and we know, hey, if you wanna go to a restaurant at the airport, you can because you have time. We were not kidding when we said we received multiple alerts. Uh, I did kind of filter this so you can't see all the information, but we received several text messages as well as several emails from Breeze Airways. So we really commend them on keeping all of their customers informed on what was going on. Okay, um, we just got the latest update. It is 
10.40 a.m. So it's an hour after we originally were supposed to depart. Um, the latest update is saying that we will not be leaving until 2.45 p.m. and not getting back to Orlando until like 4 uh, this afternoon. So, yeah, I don't know. Hopefully they get the plane fixed. Um, I don't know what's going on with it. I really do hope that everything is fixed before they come here. But I really honestly don't know yet. So we'll see. Some more concerned um, flyers here. Everybody is like, hey, we've kept getting, we keep getting these delayed uh, flight alerts. Are we even taking off today? And uh, remember at the first part of this video, we were telling you how you can't call Breeze Airways. Like there's no customer service phone number. You can only email them, send them a message on Facebook Messenger, or send a text message. I don't like me. So um, at this point, we're trying to figure out if we need to get a rental car and just drive to Orlando. I did send a Facebook message uh, to Breeze Airways as that is the way that they responded to me last time when I was trying to get a hold of my TSA pre-check added to my boarding pass. Um, I'm now going to also contact them via text message and email just to cover all of our bases here because we really need to get back home. 12 seconds late. Well, as you can see, we are leaving the airport. Leaving the airport, not on the plane. Not on the plane. Yeah. Uh, we are going to go ahead and just check out uh, and get a rental car. So we're heading Drive. to the rental car now. Yeah. I did not get a response via email, via text, or via Facebook Messenger. No so hopefully Breeze does the right thing and accommodates us. Uh, we will go ahead and end the video here, but if they do make any accommodations for us, I will include that in the video. We thought we were gonna have to cut our losses while driving back home in our rental, but about 10 minutes later, we did receive notification from Breeze Airways, and it was really good. I received a text saying that the flight was delayed until the next day, and then we received an email with the accommodations. Well, we are in our rental car. We wanted to give this update. We did get a response back from Breeze Airways, and they were just like, hey, we will make accommodations if uh, the delays continue. So maybe within half an hour after that, oh, and they responded via email this time. So the response was email this time. The first time it was via Facebook Messenger. Uh, so after about half an hour, our flight was officially canceled or they like to call it delayed until tomorrow morning at like 11 a.m., which is a no-go for us. What they did to accommodate us is they actually provided us with $200, uh, a $200 credit um, that instantly was already onto my Breeze account, as well as going to, uh, they will be providing us a full refund. And for those who uh, wanted to stay and get on the flight for tomorrow, they were providing a $250 um, reimbursement for a hotel room. So that's really, really good. Um, Babe, do you think you would still fly with Breeze Airways? Yeah, we gotta use those points. <laughs> no, for sure, no, I, I would do it again. Um, really wish they would have a little bit more um, customer service that's like, you know, directly accessible via phone. But I get it, I understand things are moving to social media and, you know, email, you know, correspondence only with trying to save costs and everything. But yeah, um, I would definitely try them again. Again, just be sure to keep track of all of your um, receipts. receipts and everything when you're dealing with any airline for that matter just in general um, mm -hmm. because that will definitely um, help you uh, help you relieve some headache um, if you do come to any you know situations like this yeah. So, yeah so I'm gonna let Richard get back to paying attention to driving but thanks so much for watching and we've already did our signing off but that was the extended version of the video if you made it this far thanks <laughs> peace Peace. Okay, I know we're gonna have like 50 closers in this video, so I apologize in advance. But the additional update was we found out that our car was fully electric about halfway through our ride back home. So we did have to scramble to try to find a charging station, which was a complete event in itself. 
All in all, we only spent about $10 on our rental car, which is awesome because we did not have to spend nearly as much as we anticipated. But the really important thing here is we received additional accommodations to both my account as well as Richard's account uh, from Breeze Airways without us even asking. And this is what my account was looking like uh, after about a week. So it was very, very nice and much appreciated. And we highly recommend Breeze Airways. They will definitely take care of their customers. Thanks so much for watching if you made it this far. Hope you have a wonderful night or day or morning or whatever time it is that you're watching this video. And then until next time, peace.